Welcome back. The annual North versus South Island rugby match in London is rapidly gaining momentum with expat Kiwis living in the UK. And for the first time in its three-year history, the fixture was won by the North Island. We sent young Kiwi lass Marie Harris to cover the post-match celebrations in the liniment filled changing rooms and to catch up with the two founders of the event, Roundy and Huddy. Oh yeah, Roundy and Huddy. Let's see what the North Island boys have got. I hear there's going to be some singing, so we'll see what we can find. Oh, there's a bit of clapping and craziness going on. Go in first, go in first. Oh, can we come in? <laughs> <laughs> That's all he's going to wear all tonight. <laughs> right, so what do we got, boys? What about us? <laughs> Alrighty, we've got the two organisers of the North vs South game today. We've got Roundy from the South Island and we've got Huddy from the North Island. We'll talk to Roundy first. How do you feel today after it all, Roundy? Bit empty after losing. I was looking forward to winning three times in a row and, and giving Huddy a lot of shit, but <laughs> can I, I can't say that on yeah. camera, but sure. It's OK. Um, I think it's pretty professional. We've got a whole shield and everything here. Mm, I think you'll find... Um, it is an Ethan Shield. It's an old bit of uh, kitchen top from work when me and Huddy used to work together. And uh, on the boss's time, of course, Huddy whipped that up at work with uh, with his uh, good carpentry skills. So and uh, and made the boss pay for it. So uh, I think it came up really, really well myself. I'm super stoked actually. I thought it was my unicorn, you know, yeah. the one that I'd never get, a mythical creature. Yes. But I finally got it, so I'm pretty happy. Yeah, you have. Um, right above my hold head. it up, Huddy. Hold it up. Yep. Oh, no, no. Above your head. Above your head, Huddy. <laughs> I'd like to bring you some of the game next year, that'd be nice. 